Who killed Hannibal? Non sequitur humor is a very complex and involved topic. Non sequitur is Latin for it does not follow. The term non sequitur typically refers to those types of invalid arguments which do not constitute logical fallacies covered by particular terms. In other words, in practice, non sequitur refers to an unnamed logical fallacy. Often, in fact, non sequitur is used when an irrelevance is showing up in a conclusion. It is an act of introducing a neutral topic to divert attention away from the main topic of discussion. In everyday speech, a non sequitur is a statement in which the final part is totally unrelated to the first part. Non sequitur is a conversational and literary device, often used for comedic purposes. It is something said that because of its apparent lack of meaning relative to what precedes it, seems absurd to a point of being humorous or confusing. Comedy is really hard because comedy is based on taste. And everybody's got a different taste and everything and things that are funny to one person will not be funny to another. Non sequitur means we can't guess what's coming next and there's no motivation for the next thing. So a lot of stand-up comedy is uh, a person will talk about his love life and then the next thing he says he's talking about at the restaurant he orders this and he didn't get it. Um, non sequitur is a series of ideas that are not linked together by motivation. Yeah, I'm this. Uh -oh. Ow, I can't dig it. I'm no, Why did the chicken cross the road to catch a ball? Because it was a foul ball. Now, that is a corny, horrible joke. There will be people who will laugh at it, and there will be people who will go, huh? You just said that? In this clip from Community, Donald Glover's character, Troy, loves LeVar Burton and would love to get an autograph from it. But another character, Pierce, played by Chevy Chase, actually gets the real person, LeVar Burton, to come and meet Troy. Because of the context of this situation, in earlier seasons, the payoff in this season and in this scene is much larger and it requires that you know that information. A thousand times! I never wanted to meet LeVar in person! I just wanted a picture! You can't disappoint a picture! I hate you, Pierce! Woody Allen's comedy is extremely sophisticated. That's why it makes no money. Because most of the comedy that makes money is the comedy from the old Jerry Lewis days where you could mug at the camera and do a pratfall. Three Stooges is still probably the most popular comedy among kids. It's, it's poke you in the eye, slap you in the face, boom, boom, boom. Stand-up comedy is the king of non sequitur comedy. In each special, there are small stories that are not connected and don't have context to one another, and they're all their own little individual jokes. Stand-up is generally designed this way and is generally produced this way. Stand-up comedy, which is not sequitur comedy, yeah. is, is uh, really, really the most difficult because you can die so easily making a joke that nobody gets but you think is funny. So here's the, here's the secret to comedy. Comedy is knowing what everybody thinks is universally funny. If you can put your finger on it, you can do it. And my father recently told me that he thinks I act too flamboyant on stage. And I said, uh, oh yeah, prove it. <laughs> For those in the balcony, I threw confetti. Mr. Bean is another good example of this. I think Rowan Atkinson is a genius. All his comedy is off the wall and non sequitur. And it's wonderful stuff. Of course, that's all grounded also in selfishness, uh, too, but it's all non sequitur. The Eric Andre show is a perfect example of non sequitur humor by torturing their guests and making the celebrities feel uncomfortable. The, what they're doing is they're trying to put the person in an uncomfortable position, but for the sake of getting laughs out of that. The laugh is at, not at the expense of the person, but at the situation. And situational comedy is always wonderful. Okay. I'll just move to North Korea. I just moved. I just moved on Korea. Well, first of all, you, you, you have to get an idea of what you think is funny. And you get as many different funny ideas as you can. And put them all in a row. And anything that seems to be connected, get rid of it. Yo, you're watching Burn Up, the worst show on television. Bop. And you always, get a, you always go from a non sequitur comedy on a laugh. You never go to non sequitur without the laugh. You die if you do that. So let's say a non sequitur thing is, oh, by the way, the other day I was driving down the road and I saw a roadkill and God, that was so great. I went a little, you know, what a recipe I had with that. People laugh, oh my God, he ate roadkill. You guys, we gotta hurry. I just got back from Walmart. They're selling Nintendo 3DS systems for $149.99 on sale. Plus, every time you buy one, you get a $50 gift card. 
Humor is subjective. Some people enjoy long, thought out, and complex jokes that require context and lots of setup. Other people enjoy non sequitur humor that's very small, quick, and to the point. We all find non sequitur humor in our lives. Please, this, this isn't funny, kid. You have to help me. But it could be a trick. Dark. That's what I'm talking about.